In the last week, there have been volcano eruption warnings from Iceland to Japan and Hawaii, and scientists are predicting a decades-long dormant volcano in Alaska is due to come alive. So we asked ourselves, what is up with all of this? Ben Edwards is a professor of geosciences, geosciences at Dickinson University and joins us for tonight's interview. Professors, can you just start with this increased activity? Is it connected? What does it mean? Good evening. Um, you know, what's connected is that it, it's coming at a time when it's being picked up by the news. Um, there are almost always eruptions going on in, in, in several different parts of the world. Um, you know, Alaska's got 40 or 50 active volcanoes that, that uh, um, can come into or go out of uh, different stages of activity at any given time. So really, a lot of times, when we hear about volcanic eruptions, it is because in, in the news cycle it gets picked up because their volcano is erupting basically every day somewhere on our planet. So it's, um, a, so it's a news eruption, um, but that asks me, uh, I get to ask a, a series of dumb questions. This is the first. Are volcanoes in any way connected though um, when, they, when they erupt in their activity? So, I mean, basically, if, if you remember back to your earth science class, which hopefully you had, you know, the earth, the earth is made of tectonic plates, and um, the, at the edges of the plates are where all the activity happens mostly. That's where there are earthquakes, that's where there are volcanoes and other things. And um, so, in a general sense, all of that activity is related to the fact that we live on a active planet where literally the surface of the planet under your feet is moving essentially every day, but very, very slowly. And so um, in that sense, all volcanoes um, are, are related in general to, to, to a small number of processes. But is a volcano erupting in Iceland directly connected right. to Kilauea? No. What the is it the the slowness of that process that that explains why dormant volcanoes that have been dormant for a long time suddenly become active? Yeah, and when you think about the Earth and and you know a lot of people envision the Earth as as you know having this thin little bit we live on, and then underneath that vast oceans of of what we're seeing there coming out of Kilauea, you know, which is melted rock. But the truth is, is there's really not very much melted rock. In, in, in the parts of the, the, the planet um, where it can get to the surface. It really is pretty small volume. And so it takes time to melt rock. It takes time for the rock, um, that, that little bit of melt, um, to sort of accumulate in a place where there's enough of it that it can come up in fractures to the Earth's surface. Um, and yeah, so that, you know, it seems, it seems uh, um, generally slow to us. Yeah. But of course, if you put, a human time span in, in, in the context of the, the age of the Earth, it's really, um, really pretty fast. We have about 20 seconds left. What is the coolest thing happening in volcano science right now? Um, so probably the use of, of, of remote tools, drones, and things like that, um, where we can make a lot of measurements now that, that keep scientists safe. Um, but allow us to see things going on in volcanoes that we couldn't really ever image before. Awesome.